Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate, and today we have Father's Day in New Zealand, so I have brought in my two troublesome small children. First uh, baby is Thomas. Say hello, Thomas. What's up? He's seven. I don't know if you can hear him. If you can't hear him or want to hear the kids, just let me know. And uh, second baby is Abigail. She's five. Hello. Boo. <laughs> okay, right. So I thought I would play some Kerbal because it's quite fun and they are going to watch me crash rockets into stuff. So I've been playing a career game and what have we got going? So I've got a bunch of money, which is brilliant. I've got a bunch of science because if you saw on Facebook or on Twitter, I actually got Valentina's ship. So I don't know how many of you remember, but we had, uh, or if you saw the last stream, but I had Valentina coming back from the moon and her and she died unfortunately it was very sad and her craft got stuck in a very long loop going round and round and round and slowly coming back in but the only way i could actually get it to re-enter her ship to re-enter was to watch it which took about 20 minutes because she only just grazed the atmosphere so there's 20 solid minutes of watching her come down and when she did of course her body was inside the pod and she was dead but all the science was there so we got 223 science and it's about time we look at what we've got so we actually now because we got that science back we have an explore the moon contract okay so we need to uh, return one to Kerbin, orbit the Kerbin and come back from uh, orbit the moon and come back from the moon so we definitely want to do that that's going to be a good one for us um i don't want to do any more testing uh satellites polar orbit we've done that I've done that. Tourism. Does anyone want to go to the moon? Orbit, Kerbin, suborbital flight. Uh, no. So I think we will go for the orbital flight, which will be pretty cool. And so hello to everyone watching. I hope there's a few of you out there. Should be a few by now. Good to see you. Oh, actually, we have some science to spend. I uh, hope you're having a nice weekend. This should be quite a good time for those of you. Whoops, clicked the wrong one. This should be quite a good time for those of you in uh, the US but uh, and, and North America. Not so good a time for me normally. Normally this is looking after kitties and family time, but that's okay. We're doing a special one today for Father's Day. So 223 science here. Got a few things to spend it on. I've sort of been tempted by the storage technology. It's nice. This is all uh, heavily modded Kerbal, by the way. So you can see the mod list in the, in the video description. Um, what have we got here? Uh, more parts that aren't quite necessary. Again, stack separators not entirely necessary. Undersized signals intelligence satellite. Fantastic. Um, I sort of probably want to head up to here somewhere, but that feels like quite a way away. There's like quite a lot of science to get there. Uh, here, lander parts and XL parachutes. That hmm, we don't need those large parts yet. Wing parts. I'm actually kind of tempted by the stuff here, the connectors, especially because we get struts. So I think we're just going to go for that straight away. Hey, Nathaniel. So struts, very helpful for us. Um, there's probably nothing that's going to be immediately massively amazing. It could just be a good time to pick up some utility pieces that are going to be helpful for us. 88 science left, so that's enough for now. Let's have a look. So it is an orbit of the moon that is required. I actually am tempted to use this flight to complete the orbit contract and also to possibly put a communications relay in. I'm not sure. Thinking about it. So we have this basic structure here. Do we have any sub-assemblies to mess with? Um, so this orbit insertion system is quite effective for us. I'm going to save that. And I have service and science pack here. Hello there, Top Kick and Ninja, Ninja Cobe. So I'm just pondering. That seems okay. I will. That needs this. I think I'll just put that straight there. So this is our science pack with some batteries and some solar panels. And actually, what I want is a little bit more power on it. We want some solar panels on the side just to increase the chance that we'll get a bit of sun and uh, batteries are sound I think actually what this ship probably needs is some life support which I'm just gonna stack in there kind of cheekily clip it and 
is there any more science that I can realistically take at present? We've got to do lots of science, haven't we, Abigail? Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, lots of science. Magnetometer, maybe. We'll try and squeeze a magnetometer in as well. Oh, whoops, that looks a bit weird. There we go. Oh, we already got one. Oh, I don't need two of them. I only need one. Just one for more science. And uh, that's basically our science payload at present for a, for an orbital shot, which will be good. Um, this is going to need a heat shield because we don't want to burn up, do we, Abby? Yeah. We do want to burn yeah. up. No, we don't. I want to burn it up. <laughs> you, <laughs> you want to burn up in orbit. I'd rather we didn't. I want to burn up in orbit. Okay. That is a little concerning, small child. I do not <laughs> wish to see us explode. Ooh. I want to explode. I like explosions. <laughs> you might like explosions, but I do not. Okay, cool. Nope. So we've got a new inline okay. stabilizer. Do we bring that whole stack back? What are we at right now for mass? Um, uh, one point uh, two tons. I think that's okay. And RCS as well, which we won't need. We do have struts handy. Okay, we've actually got structural fuselage. Okay, that's all fine. So we want to get parachutes on the top. Oh, we got indicator lights. Excellent. That's I a new mod. I don't care I've just... if we don't have parachutes. You don't care if you don't. We don't have parachutes. I care. I don't want to explode. I want to explode. I like it. You want to fall to the ground and explode. <laughs> I want to fall to the ground and explode. That's awesome. Okay. No, well, I don't want to do that today. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, uh, how did you do that in vanilla? I hate remaking structures. Oh, in vanilla. Okay, so this is normal. See, under this little tab here, top kick, uh, sub-assemblies, you then take this, which I actually might do right now, and I drag it and I drop it into sub-assembly drop zone. I'll put that back there, and I call it full service module like that. And then I'm going to delete the service and science module. So this now becomes like a sub-assembly. You can click and drag in. Now the question I have is, will all of this take us to space? Yep. Mm, you reckon it will, Tom? Yep. I want it to explode and not take us to space. Well, that's because you're weird. <laughs> I'm not weird. Um, I want a bit more fuel before we go up. I think that's fair. Yeah, that looks good. Alright, so let's check that Delta V. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. I want it to not go up and instead put some TNT and then make it explode. <laughs> That's because you're a bad, bad person. I'm girl, not. Alright, I'm just I'm checking not. my staging and then that goes and then that goes and then that goes. Okay, how much food have we got? We got enough food and water or do you want them to starve to death? Starve to death. Starve to death. Dad, yes, Thomas. It'd be cool if you if it had this big compartment um, that had a little rover. So when you get to the moon, you can launch the rover. Oh, that would be cool. But we are just yes. hey there, energy. Uh, my kids are cool. I would disagree. Are you guys cool? Yes. <laughs> okay. So what I am doing. So the point of this mission is just this is just the orbit the moon mission. I am going to, I want to get the missions that tell me to go to the moon and land on it, because it's going to be worth lots of money, and if we do it out of order, it's less money for us, which I is no good. I want to do good. it out of order. Well, that's no. because everything you want to do is troublesome, Abigail. No. So, okay, I'm just checking food. You've got 10 days of food, water I 10 days, days, 5 of days food. of oxygen. That's actually a little bit of a problem, but we do have... I want zero days of food. <laughs> okay. Because I want to die. You in want to die in the game. Why do you want to be so, so mean? So that we, um, they can just make our ship explode? That sounds terrible. <coughs> I don't want our ship to explode. I want it to Living explode. Space cra Living cramped. space cramped. Okay, I'm just squeezing oxygen in there. It looks a little bit cheeky, I think. Oh, the capacitors. I feel a little Close bit bad the about the capacitors. So I don't want them to totally clip through. That would be just weird. Go to space and explode. Why? I want to explode. Why? Because I, I like explosions. I don't Why? Want to explode. Because I just like 
6,000 explosions. Okay, I'm just checking everything. How old are my children? Thomas is 7. Abigail is 5. Um, let me just check. Actually, hang on, sorry. I'm just getting this right. X and... Hang on, I need to just snug... No, why have you gone to 4 times symmetry? 2 times symmetry is perfectly fine. Okay, so... Okay, we've got capacitors. We've got oxygen. Your children are being evil. Explode. Yes. I've got oxygen. I've got science experiments crammed in there as well. Let's drop one. My children are, in fact, slightly evil. Explode! Not Abby's the cheeky one. No, just explode. Okay, don't scream into the microphone. You'll blow everyone's ears off. I'm serious. Okay, so science, life support, tons of oxygen. Let's yes, uh, have a look. O 83 days worth of oxygen. No. oxygen. Nitrogen, don't need any of that. Food I is fine. Shielding, I want to put a little bit on. Oh, yeah. And okay, I think this craft is good. Never eat food, it's evil. <laughs> okay, I am going to strut some stuff because no. that's how we roll. Okay. <laughs> Whoa, three struts are a little weirdly... Uh, that'll do. And down here too. Okay. And let's just line those up. I don't want any weird tensions on it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Yeah. I think that it looks, looks fine. Good. evil. Oxygen helps things explode, so you should want oxygen in there, Abby. No, I don't want it. Oxygen okay. helps explosions. Okay, just... Oxygen and nothing else. Okay. okay, Moon Orbiter. So, who are we going to put in this? We're going to put Kenning. He's pretty good. Orbas is pretty good as well, but I think we'll send Kenning on this mission. Uh, I am married, in fact. Uh, Energy Buzz, yes, I am married, and uh, these are the products of that marriage. Um, <laughs> cool, let's go. Explode! Explode. It just exploded! It didn't explode. We haven't launched yet, it troll. It has. All right. Yeah, yeah we got a new the part rocket. I want. What's that, Tom? Kinman Kerman. Hopefully he doesn't die. All right, Abby, when I say press the space bar, press the space bar once. Okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Did we get it right? Yes, we did. Oh, I haven't put any science transmission any gear on it. Never mind. Fire! Um... Yes, there is. Okay, wish there was a mod for went into the same for Kerbal that went into the same detail as planet base. Well, you, you should look at planetary base systems and Kerbalism. That does actually give you pretty much those two mods will give you a pretty close simulation in some way to planet base. There's another mod called Kerbal Colonists, which sort of abstracts that you'll get colony Kerbals visiting all the bases that you set up. She did slam that space bar, and there's also MKS. So there's actually quite a few. She could all hear that. <laughs> yeah. There are quite a few. Um, yeah, there are quite a few silly ones. I don't live in the UK. I live in New Zealand. Wellington! Watch out. New Zealand! Wellington. Abby, don't kick the desk. Yeah. Don't kick the desk. Usually when stuff. I'm on Kerbal, I usually make rovers and drive around or I make some planes. No one can hear you over there. You have to come closer if you want to be heard, Tom. Usually when I'm on Kerbal, I'm making rovers driving around on the planet and making planes to fly around the planet. Sometimes I equip the boat trailer so the boat goes into the sea. But I think that was the older version of Kerbal. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, we've actually forgot both Kerbal Engineer. Oh, yeah, we forgot Kerbal Engineer, which is a bit of a shame. I like having my Delta V. <coughs> so I don't have the stats on the rocket. Stop kicking the desk. I think someone's been kicking the desk. All right, we're just going to have to take a gentle gravity turn. I'm going to have to check the map for stats. 37. I think this is a, a pretty good. Um, and goodbye to those rocket parts. Look at that, Abby. Yes, I want it to explode now because they want everything to explode. Okay, they're going to hit the ground and explode. Not no, no, they, they won't. Are, yeah, they They've got, got parachutes. parachutes on them. Got parachutes. So the, the parachutes oh, are going to fire. Oh. Oh, not too far over. I've got to actually fly Tons this one. Not fire. keep an eye on They'll you guys. Set the rocket on fire so it explodes. Pl yeah, planes. The, if you watch a tutorial on planes, Van, you will find that they're not they're not too bad once you've watched the tutorial. But they are they are still tricky. Uh, my favourite thing 
the favorite thing to do with a plane in Kerbal is I built like a 12 and a half ton single stage to orbit. That took like a week of fiddling about for uh, just to get it to work right. And when it did, it was um, it was cool. So does Thomas have a YouTube channel? He actually has a little tiny channel uh, called Cupcake Tree Guy yeah, from but... when he was five and he did some Minecraft videos. Uh, yeah, just for the fun of it. Yeah, I stopped because um, I stopped because the world that I used to play in, Cupcake Tree, got destroyed because the people who looked after it accidentally deleted it. So now it's gone forever. Yeah, so the Minecraft host we had were like, oh, we screwed up a backup and your world's gone. Sorry, everyone start over. Have a month free. And we're just like, oh, okay. And I've also made a stream on Crossout, which was my first stream ever. And yeah, I've also had a video with Dad in Saudi. Yeah, so on the channel there's at least I think there's one video of us playing Saudi together. Yeah. Sim Airport, I haven't played it yet, and I have heard quite a bit about it. Okay, I'm just going to stop because we're going up very fast. So I, I think Sim, stop. I think I Sim, stop. okay, I think Sim Airport is coming fairly soon, right? Um, everyone subscribe. Or is it yeah, everyone subscribe to Tiny Pirate. If you subscribe, then there's a great ahoy sound that I appreciate. <laughs> I and, want um, F, I if, want to stop and make hey, it better. load. And so if if also if Nightbot was working, it would probably tell you like to um, send me money and stuff. <laughs> oh, I can't send. Uh, it's going to be a bit tricky for me to send a link now because I'm busy streaming. Uh, let me get this underway and I'll find some link thing. Okay, so. Let's punch up the speed. I wish I had Kerbal Engineer. I should have stuck it on. Oh, Give us the link we tiny. are going to actually... Give us the link tiny. Yeah, I saw that, Tom. Uh, right, right, right. Get a bit closer. Okay, close enough. So Keep pushing that. For a while now. Keep pushing that orbit up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Is it some airport? It's Airport Tycoon, I think I must be thinking of. All right, get the orbit up a bit more. That's looking pretty sound. In fact, it's a bit too sound. I don't like having my uh, stages like that. So actually, what I'm going to do... See, I want to kind of dump this stage, so I'm actually going to flip this retrograde and do a quick burn because I want to dump this... Um, I want to dump this part here, and I'll just circularize again with the other the other main body. I don't like leaving lots of space trash around, so let's pull this up. Keep that down. That will definitely re-enter now, and then we turn around and we fire it out behind us. So that'll be good. I'm um, yeah. I can't. Thanks, uh, better. Jeb could do better. Jeb could do better, but he's dead. <coughs> Who's Jeb? Jeb is dead and disengage and now fire the next stage and speed up and now i'm gonna make my new channel called teeny tiny part so yeah, are I'm you gonna, yeah i'm planning to okay to. i'm gonna teeny make a channel part. too and it's gonna be tiny 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 pirate <laughs> okay. so we've got a service bay here uh i don't um. think we no. have any fresh science to do up here. I'm really sure of that. Yeah. No, my one's going to be toggle good, that away. the mega tiny pirate. Okay, mega you guys. Pirate. So, oh, we're actually probably teeny in a really... Mega we're probably in a really good point. Yeah, teeny tiny mega tiny I think tiny we're in a really pirate. good point to go um, maneuver. Pirate. I think we're probably in a really good point to orbit and get into the moon. When I was we, right. When are we going to be in the moon? Uh, is what is right that? There? That's a Asteroid? coming around the back. No, that's the moon. It's just oh, it's okay. coming around the back. So I want to come around the front, which probably means no. That seems that's. Oh, I don't know. That'll do. I think that'll probably be fine. Uh, burn. Uh, oh, can I come? Hmm. I think I got plenty of delta v. So mo node and twenty. Okay, well let's just go. We need to go right now. In fact full speed as fast as we can so it's not going to be a, a perfect extra tiny pirate yeah it's not going to be a perfect lunar insertion but it won't be too bad and i think we'll be fine to get back as well and how are we for stat okay so what do we got here for instructions cool we've recovered all the debris that we dropped the first three big stages unfortunately um where are we that 
and I always have oh there we go so that other piece of stage that we have which is this one here won't actually re-enter until what I control it myself which is a shame but it'll get there eventually Yes. Uh, what are my plans for Cosmeteer? Ninja Kebab. I'm thinking of recording Cosmeteer tonight and uh, a video out tomorrow. And my plan is to. Dad, you uh, just lost the pen. My plan is to. Uh, what is it? Okay. I know, Tom. Hang on. Uh, cool. All right. So Nightbot should be joining. Uh, my plan is to. What was I going to say? Uh, play Kerbal, and I'm uh, sorry, Kerbal Cosmeteer, and I'm thinking of playing it Bounty Hunter single player mode, but I'm not too sure. I don't know. I think single player could be quite fun for a change. I haven't played that too much, so I think that will be a laugh. Uh, and okay, we're almost done. Oh, okay, a little bit more. Actually, that's sort of looking. Wow, it is patching. I don't know, all these patch connects, this orbit, where is it actually planning to go? That uh, seems a little extreme. I'm going to just get rid of those orbits. There we go. So, what is it trying to tell me right now? No, sit, please, Tom. Um, Osiris New Dawn? No, I have not played Osiris New Dawn. Uh, not lately. I know they've added a bunch. I don't understand. Oh, that's four days away. Okay, so we need to really turn retrograde. And I think... I the think mind. that will sit as target. So let me just do it a little burn. A little bit more. A little bit more. Uh, it's not... Hmm. This isn't, this hasn't really, let me try anti-normal or whatever it is. I can't remember which way around it is. Okay, try this. Why are you, oh, because I've, I've got it on this, stability assist. Uh, let's try a small burn this way. I just want to see what that'll do. Okay. Not much. Well, I'm just having a look. That, closest approach, two days away. I, I don't know. This feels like we're a little bit out of whack. <coughs> yeah, the orbit is too, too large. I'm going to try and retrograde it till we get closer. 500,000. Do kids even want to be there? Yeah, they yes, do. Yes, I think I so. I to be in the stream. I do. <laughs> Alright, so we are going to have this weird orbit where we fall back down in, and that's, what is that going to be? Uh, 200, that, well, that's okay, I mean, it's it's a bit weird, but it's not the, not the worst orbit I've ever seen. Oh no, I've got weird flickering. Um, prograde. Yeah, I need to upgrade the tracking, um tracking thing and I think I haven't done that yet so I'm gonna just go forward with this and lacking Kerbal Engineer is a real problem and I'll figure it out see if I can fix that flickering in a second as well okay uh, yes just maybe warp warp to here warp to the moon reaction wheel malfunction oh ah that's a I don't think I can repair it because I don't have EVA abilities yet. No, I don't have EVA and oh, that flickering is driving me nuts. Let me pop back to the space scene to see if that fixes it. Which of my kids is the best YouTuber? Um, I don't do YouTube. Abby doesn't do YouTube. She just likes watching YouTube. And Thomas likes to YouTube if he can now and then. Yeah, um, Abby's favourite channel is the Ingham Family or whatever. Yes, Abby does like the Ingham Family. A family vlogging channel. They have lots of money, so they just buy so many things for their videos and get even more money. Yeah. And yeah, they, they, the kids are really lucky. They've got a nice no one can hear you over there. Um, oh hey, hey, subscriber. So, unfortunately, this is broken. This is part of the realism mod. Things will occasionally break. I don't have an engineer with me to go out and fix it, and I can't EVA in space yet. So, we're just going to have to live with that. And I don't think that's the end of the world. 
So uh, we're going to just come around here. And then we shall... Actually, I could just go all the way to here. Okay, so here we go. Here, the moon is catching up with us. Alright, so can I get any sight? Am I missing any signs? Yes, Abigail. Yes, you can say something. The moon is going to explode. I love that. <laughs> yes. he's a Tom's sitting a long way away from the microphone, and now he's whispering in my ears. No, Tom, you can't have the microphone, because I no, do need headphones. to... headphones. Headphones, you can't have those either, because I need to I listen. I want to hear the ahoy voice. Uh, we're going to actually warp to here, get close to the moon, and then we're going to go around the moon, Abby. What do you think of that? Terrible if it doesn't explode. Good if it explodes. <laughs> Terrible if it doesn't explode. Yeah, and good if it, if it explodes. Good if it explodes. Uh -huh. I don't think I really want to explode over the moon. I want to explode over the moon. Yes, Tom says. Yes, that's my night bot talking, yes. Uh, so 41k, okay, so that maneuver node will take... Uh, let me have a look. So let me just blip the throttle. Okay, one minute and one second, so we need to go and burn at 30 seconds. Let's check our science data. No, I think we're actually pretty sound on science. Do I have the extended thing? We're going to close that. The extendy thing is a magnetometer, so it's picking up magnetic. Um, it's picking up magnetic waves, or I guess yeah, magnetic waves, radiation, no waves. So it can uh, get us lots of science. Okay, go away. That have we got any other science to use? No, we've got all this science. So we're going to go in for a close orbit. Uh, your daughter's going to join the New Zealand Navy when she's older, just so she can watch things explode, Captain <laughs> Rye? Probably. She wants yes. to do ballet, so I don't know how ballet and explosions work together. I already do ballet. Yes, explosion ballet. I want the ballet. New Zealand Navy so she... <laughs> I want to do a ballet about explosions. Who doesn't? <laughs> Retrograde, yep. So, let's burn that orbit down. I just had some of my dad's coffee. <laughs> Yo. Hope the new pilot doesn't go the way of Valentine. I don't think the new pilot will. I've been looking at our re-entry orbits a little bit so I can make sure she doesn't burn up. I've also brought a ton of, uh, once this maneuver is mm. complete, I'll coffee show you. Coffee is yum. I've brought a ton of uh, extra oxygen and food and what have you. So we've got quite a few days to do that. And I think, yeah, we basically have the tech now between Mine. solar panels and all the other stuff to ensure pretty complete. Um, unless, oh, yeah, I want to be a little bit careful with the fuel. So let me have a look here. If I rotate, you'll see. So the service bay now has, oh, we should actually be grabbing Observe Mystery Goo. And we have oxygen in here, capacitors for batteries. Oh, yeah. So I'm really cramming stuff into that, which is awesome. And uh, yeah, Natty Nook, I like coffee too. It's yum. And uh, do I want to get? I want to get a little bit lower. And actually, the orbit is going to end up going the right way round, which is good. Let's lower it a little bit more. And a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yes. Yes. What if kids took your channel over? They probably do better than me. Let's well, be I honest. know what I do. I just play endless hours of Overwatch. I love Overwatch. Yeah, you'd be watching Overwatch matches versus bots endlessly. No, not um, versus bots anymore. And lots of Reaper, probably. No, I don't play Reaper. That's just as well. Doom Only bad people fist. play Reaper. Boom. <laughs> so, um, how are we doing here? I just gotta check my messages. I play Lucio Ball All right, a lot stable and Copper orbit. Lucio Ball. Shish. I'm good at Copper Lucio Ball. And oh, we've got a uh, more orbit, orbit, orbit. Copper. Is done. Which is competitive Lucio Ball. So, electric charge is fine. I'm just having a look here. All of these are fine. Quite a few days of food and what have you is available. I can check that here. So, the moon orbiter, we've picked up a bit of radiation just from the travel. World of Warships. Oh, and I used to play World of Warships too. We've got nine, two years. We've got okay, nine days of food and water. Oxygen. We've got eighty-one days, so that's pretty good. Oh, it's plenty. So I do want to get a little bit further around the moon. 
We're nice and low here. So this is going to be a good chance to explore it before we send a lander. Okay, so let's have a look at it. And just stop. Stop rotating. Stop rotating. Fine. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, so nice and low. Do we have science to pick up? We brought back quite a bit of science and transmitted quite a bit of science, but... Not enough to make it really... You two seem really wriggly. Go do something else. No. Log radiation data. No, we might not get any fresh science from here. Crew report. No, that's a real shame. But we did send a good ship. Uh, World of Warships. Yeah, I quite like World of Warships. Haven't played a while in ages. So... Actually, I'm looking here. Here is... Yes, Little Brother Likes Overwatch. Yes, Thomas, I saw that. It is the boss. I love Doomfist. Uh, okay. Doomfist is bomb. So, I'm just going to plan our return. 400,000 meters is a bit much. Just burn it a bit less. See if I can get a nice direct return. What's that? 100? No. I'm really being a bit risky taking a direct return. 39. 40. Uh, okay, so. Node in 15 minutes. I am going to toggle this stuff away. I think we'll be okay with a direct return that hits at 40k. So we're going to burn such that our... Uh, orbit brings us straight back in at 40k above Kerbin. It's going to be really fast but I've got kind of like a double heat shield thing going on. Um, cool, yeah, Captain Wright, I will. If I, if I, uh, I'll try and remember to do that straight after the stream. So, I want to come around a little bit more and it's going to take 34 seconds so... It is... Okay, so, let me have a look. Valentina, where are I? Do we have a pilot capable of piloting? I haven't got any options here. Abby, you're knocking the microphone stand. Please don't do that, or everyone will go batty. Okay, let me have another little squiz at the... Okay, so, sass on. Lock on that. Targety thing and get closer to the to the node approximately 15 seconds out will be fine we have to be quite precise Z alright that should do it we have to be quite precise because a few meters a second difference will determine whether or not we re-enter assuming we have enough fuel for it I'm pretty sure we do so we can make some adjustments on the way Let's have a look. We're coming back and we've got our orbit completed, which means the next contract we're offered should be a land on the moon contract, which will be highly appreciated. I'm kind of sad I've sort of got all the science. I should have checked. I don't think the action science mod, which is a really cool mod, would have helped with with realism mod or Kerbalism. Um, 12, 10, 9, 8, 8 10. Whoop. Oh, we overshot. Uh, what's our orbit going to be like? All right, let's kill that maneuver node. What is our orbit going to come in at? 159? So I can just go retrograde slightly, I suspect, and just drop that a touch with a very small bursts. Oh, oh, we're relying on the pod's control wheels because ours broke. Oh, come on, Val come on, come on, pilot. Valentina would have had that perfectly. And here we go. 85, no, 65, 50 was too, way too shallow, 45, I think 45 is probably a good first stab, we have enough fuel and what have you to mean this is a perfectly acceptable uh, sort of uh, burn, let's take this boy home, and here we come, why is this taking a while? Okay. 
Are we falling? We are coming back. We're just not going very fast at the start. Okay, let's just warp till we're close to the planet. And we're okay, okay, okay. Across. Oh, what are we? Malfunctions. That's fine. Radiation belt. We're picking up radiation from the Kerbalism mod. Still got plenty of food and water. And go retrograde. Thank you. Where is. Ah, there's the planet. Looking very nice with the Spectra mod. What is the Spectra mod? Yeah, Nathaniel, I'm thinking that a retro burn just above at atmosphere might be a good idea. What I'm worried about is the uh, vertical or very, a very vertical kind of re-entry. Why did we go to the moon? Why did we go to the moon, Abby asks. Because I had a contract, so the game gave me money for going to the moon. Oh. Oh. I know, the game's like that. Alright, so. Do I do a big burn now and try and slow down? Why not? Let's see if that makes much of a difference. So we're burning at 80k. Get rid of the last of the fuel. Dropping the speed. We are dropping the speed. Yeah, the Spectrum mod is absolutely... Well, it's very pretty. And it recommends a bunch of pretty extras. I did make a slight change to it. I told the Spectrum mod... Well, I gave the Spectrum mod the cloud layer from Astron Astronomer's Pack. Because I like it more. So I'm going to turn sideways and ditch this since it's now, uh, yeah, it's now done. So we're going to turn that way to slow this one down. Oh, she just fire that. All right, fine. Retrograde, fine. So that thing hopefully will go far enough away that it'll re-enter and I'll get re-entry credit for it. Otherwise we might watch it burn up. Yay! <laughs> um, how much you have to remember to pull up charts to play it? I, I don't find, oh, we are actually going to do a, oh, close the bay. Close the bay doors. Yay. Are we going to re-enter? <gasps> Abby, you've just kicked the thing again. Can okay. you please not do that? <laughs> so we're coming down to 33k. That should be a full capture, I think. Are we going to cook? We've got actually two heat shields here. I kind of double stacked them, which is a little bit cheeky. So I think we're going to lose the first. We might lose the first little one, and then we'll lose the second one, which is fine. It's blue! <laughs> so Kerbal's not too bad. The only thing I usually keep up is there's a couple of really helpful mods. The first one is a transfer planner window, window which helps you get to other planets. And the Kerbal alarm clock. That's the first... Well, I don't know what that was. Solar panels, maybe? Something exploded. Never mind, can't have been anything important. We've still got two heat shields on. We are on fire. That's because we were going through the wind so fast, we're pushing it in front of us, and it's causing tons of friction. I think this is going to re-enter. See, the orbit's Just falling. Just like in Steven Universe. Got it. Got it. Hit the ball so hard that it turned on fire, then turned into glass. See, it's kind of funny. We're all re-entering, but the game hasn't reorientated the view for like a re-entry. It's only showing us like an orbital view. Be careful, you don't. You, your ship doesn't turn to glass if you go too fast. Turn to glass if it goes too fast. No, it won't. Something will probably explode first. Oh no, we lost. No, we lost the service module. No, 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 no. We lost the service. Oh no, no, no. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Die. Um, I'm going He's to. He's enjoying it. He's enjoying burning <laughs> up and things exploding. He is yeah. enjoying it. Who wouldn't? Uh, <laughs> I can't believe it. He's enjoying. I'm actually going to rotate it. And dying. Okay, I'm setting this I thing to rotate it. just so that we try and move the heat around. There we go. 29 kilometers. We're still doing 2,300. Oh, this is really tough. And bits exploding. I enjoy this. Is I really would enjoy tough. that. You would enjoy this trip, would you, Abby? Yeah. I would enjoy it. Is it funny? Yeah. Well, he's smiling. He's smiling. <laughs> Why would I smile? I don't really want to lose anything off this ship, so I'm just going to. Keep I keep would have used something lose is. Everything. I don't know what is taking all this heat. Come on, slow down a bit more. We're, we're slowing down. We are slowing down. Good. It's still so hot. It's still so hot. Come on, I don't want to lose another pilot. I already lost two. <laughs> uh, I want to use lose all the pirates. Why is he still smiling? Why is he still smiling? Because he's a daredevil. And he has a daredevil skill. Look, you're going around in circles like. Oh gosh, 19 kilometers up and we're still doing 1500 meters a second. Oh, this is really tough. I don't know, was I a bit too steep on the re entry? I think I was just a tiny you're bit smiling. too Your coming in. A bit too around. fast. You're going to get, get air sick. 
and Saint You're George definitely going to be airsick from this, I think, Tom. I love We're not cooking sick. anymore. We're not cooking anymore. 13 kilometers up. Parachutes are armed. Uh, it's still not safe for them to actually launch. 11 kilometers up. Oh, no. No retrograde. Come on. No, no. 8 kilometers up. Slow down. <laughs> A thousand meters a second, seven kilometers, six kilometers. Hey there, Arthur. Um, Eastern Canada, early part of the game. No, 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 four kilometers. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't even, can I EVA and no, 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 one kilometer. Oh no, 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 no. Boom. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> uh, oh, oh, that is so annoying. What a total loss. Um, everything crashed down hard and was destroyed. Yeah, that was too fast. 3. I love 4. destroying stuff. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> oh, that was act that was really close. I'm glad Jonathan agrees. That was really close. I almost wonder if I hadn't done that burn. If I'd gone for one orbital slowdown burn and then burned, maybe that would have been better. I'm just trying to be more like efficient not circular eyes on the way back hey dude, um Boy, don't say that oh return oh, in incomplete oh. yeah that's the kerbal dude um, he's the scientist um he's not weird that's what the kerbal dude is. um equatorial orbit of the moon a geosynchronous uh, orbit of the moon uh these can be a bit of a pain i'm pondering and we might need some psychic help yeah, physic, psychic help. I think she knew physic. exactly what was going to happen. Physic. Everything was going to explode. That it's physic. Uh, yes, um, let me have a look. Do we... Psychic. Do we want to try that one again? I'm pondering. Um, a high-speed landing with no survivors. Yeah, that is always fun, isn't it? So, we've still yeah, got that contract I want running. you to land on the mine and explore the mine. Does that require... Why does it have to be called the mine? That's just weird. Uh, it just does. Okay, so we... It still wants us to do that. I'm pondering what exactly to do next. Position a satellite in orbit... Uh, equatorial orbit of the moon at 200,000 kilometers, an inclination of 180 degrees. Build a new unmanned probe that has an antenna and can generate power. Yes. Designated orbit. Yes. Mystery goo unit on the satellite. Stability for 10 seconds. Oh, okay. Um, psychiatric. Yes, I think Abby does need psychiatric help. That's a very good, that's a very good point. What I think I, it's psychiatric. Psychiatric is what, it's psychiatric. Trust me, you're seven. I do know what words mean when you're older. So I think I will, do we want to try and take a satellite with us? It's kind of tempting. I think I could probably do that and take the satellite with us and ditch the science bay since I don't really need much of that. Um, a geosynchronous. Uh, this one needs to be at 310 degrees. I don't think we'll have the fuel for that. So we're going to try a slightly different option here. You said here. I'm seven, but I'm not. At a, slight, at a slightly different angle, I could have done it. Yeah, Jonathan, I'm not quite sure what would be best for that. Like, which angle would be better um, I think it's again. we lost that as well, which I'm, I didn't actually check the low science on. I f think I have actually got all of that science, to be fair. So I'm going to throw that away. This we're going to open. And I'm going to throw away the science things just because I don't need to bring them. And so what I need to do is to bring a, a 1.25 meter heat shield and I'm gonna do the quality oh I don't have a quality oh, that's a shame can I put like two heat shields on I actually kind of I kind of can so I'm gonna do that it's a bit cheeky I don't know if it's legit so we'll do that and up here um, yeah you're the captain with a barret yeah good idea uh, Position satellite contracts are pretty easy to do, so it's a good way to make some money and reputation after killing some pilots. A couple and a heat shield on the pod itself, so you, you have to. So if you have to, you can uh, save at least the pilot. Yeah, I mean, do I put like a? At I mean, least I, the pirate. At least 
I mean, I could put a, a, another coupler here and another heat shield. The one of the prop, Abby, you're kicking quite a lot of stuff. Can you stop? Yeah. Um, actually, you know what? Rather than a actually, that was me. That was okay. You know, you've got this here. So rather than another heat, shield, if I do it like this, so here you go. So I've got heat shield, stabilizer, and then two heat shields. I mean, that has to be enough, right? I um, I think that should be fine. Um, all right, see you later. Thanks to good to meet you, Bert. Um, if I stick a small, no, that's a bit. I could. Evasion. I can't actually read that name. Okay. Don't feel a blader from the heat shield. Oh, that's true. I mean, that would reduce weight, right? So a blader probably only use about. Let me have a look. Does that give me much mass saving? Oh, a little bit. And every every bit counts. Aviation. I'll put. I just realized it's sweet. Aviation, a bit of aviation. I mean, that one should be fine. I don't know. What do you think about that? I need to put the satellite here, which is going to be uh, some kind of. Abby, if you're Wrigley, you don't have to stay. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yes, Thomas. Shh. So, equatorial orbit, mystery goo. So, this is going to be our satellite. So, it's going to need a uh, probodyne core. There. It's going to need um, uh, batteries. I might make it a proper stack and give it some science as well. So, it does need uh, science. It needs mystery goo. And um, let me have a look. Oh yeah, that looks a bit weird, but that's okay. Need two. I'll put two for weight evenness. So what else does the science thing need? Mystery goo, stability. Um, it should be able to keep itself relatively charged. Um, and it probably doesn't need that much. All right, we we'll go. I don't know, put batteries like that and solar panels let me have a little look we are going to need solar panels on our craft and they are looking a little weird let me have a look hmm, they're kind of strangely clipping through oh, never mind that's okay and I will put some on what is going to be a satellite Is that enough to be a satellite? I think it is. It needs solar panels, yeah. So this is going to be the satellite as soon as we deploy it. It's um, it's, it's kind of looking a little strange, but that's okay. It's got power to last for days. It's got that. It's got the mystery goo. Uh, hey there. It's going to need a communication sink, or there's no point in connecting to it, right? So it will need, uh, need only one of those. It'll need at least one monopole. And I've got the indicator lights mod so I can see that it's working. And I'll give it a communitron as well, because why not? It's going to look a little weird, that's fine. No, hang on thing. What did you just do to me, game? Alright, four of those. All right. Okay, so that's fine. And two, one of those. And these can close that. So if I put these on, throw that away. Start again with those. Why? Oh, okay. It's because it's being weird. Four. Oh, that doesn't look too weird. RCS ports. I don't really need them. I don't. I do have them, but the ship doesn't. I don't really see how it's going to need RCS ports right now because it is just going to flip around the moon, try and drop this satellite off, and then it's going to, you know, come back again. And we're not bringing quite as much back, so we're going to we've got heat shields and stuff here. The control thing, um, quality standard. I might make the quality a bit higher. Likewise, can I? I can't make that higher. That's fine. So this is going to be the satellite, which is going to be power, the mystery goo that is required, a communications thing, this, 
Oh, I better give this, we've got one communications. I'm gonna give it one more on this side so that I don't have to fiddle around too much with communications. And I think that should be okay. I'm having a little look at what you guys have typed. Don't forget the engine for the pilot to get back. The engine, ah, that's a very good point. I actually, yeah, you've, <laughs> you've just pointed out something very important, Nathaniel. I can't ditch this until, um, you know what, can I stick this on the nose? I mean, it's not going to be pretty. Uh, let me just put this here. I'm just going to put this here for now and check if we've got enough science. Did we gather any science from our experience? So, Moon Orbiter, let's leave. Uh, yeah, I did put solar panels on it. I have 94 science, so I might be able to get like the small. Subscribe, subscribe. Thomas, stop me. whispering, subscribe. <laughs> it gets difficult. Subscribe, so, subscribe. there was. Is that small? Clampertron Junior docking port. That could be one way of doing it. Let's just check that. I might as well grab that anyway. Come back and review what we've what we've got here. Um, RCS ports re-entering atmosphere. The control wheels on this size satellite should on this size thing should be fine. <laughs> Thomas, if you're gonna be gross, don't stay. Okay, so got that and that that's a bit ugly and it's a bit unaerodynamic so I'm gonna have to docking ports are useful yeah the stack separator I mean it's a bit less literary isn't it which is always nice so Clampertron Junior docking port flip that over and that way I'm not gonna accidentally stage it so that top part that ugly ugly top part is the satellite and I might very bravely give it a couple of those. And what I should do actually is see if I can get EVA science. So that should hopefully hold it together. So ugly satellite, power batteries, mystery goo, and all of that stuff. Then we have our satellite with the, or our orbiter with the service pack. Um, this is all getting a bit weird. I don't know what I've got precisely here. I've got a this I need to get rid of get rid of that so I have got a heat shield and then I got another heat shield just in just in case that's a big control thing that'll definitely hold attitude we've got lots of fuel there Delta V 2000 4000 almost six and a five five and a half thousand I'd say that should be plenty um this isn't too bad I think it's good I just want to go check our science. When do we get EVA? EVA is from... Um, no. Astronaut complex? complex? No. Oh, maybe astronaut. Uh, oh, yes. There we go. 75,000. That's definitely cheap. Can perform EVAs. Can place flags. Uh, EVAs can place flags. That's not super exciting. Can collect surface, surface samples. Can't afford that. Quite. Can't afford that. Alright, that's good. Don't explode without me. I will try not to explode. Okay, so I think this is going to be fine. The satellite's a bit ugly, but it will do the trick. And we can EVA, which is going to be nice. And we can probably send the science home, which is also going to be nice. Yes, let's launch. I think it's going to explode again. It's not going to explode again. I mean, I wouldn't... I, I didn't necessarily need to... Ah, uh, it's time. Uh, I'm actually going to go back and recover, and then I'm going to go walk to morning, because I hate launching it at night time. Um, I don't think it's going to explode. I think it's going to be just fine. I think it's going to be beautiful. I could have circularized the orbit. saying explode? Explode. It's just internets. Uh, I think I could have been... I could have circularized around Kerbin and then come in. I think I would have had enough Delta V for that, but I just prefer yes. to try doing it more interesting. Uh, Moon Orbiter, that's the one, isn't it? We've got Orbas on there, our last remaining pilot. Launch clamps, um, yeah. I mean, I could, I just don't know if it's, you know, 100% necessary in this case. It's very stable, uh, and everything is fine there, yeah. 
By the way, if you Ooh. use the red launch Ooh. clamps, they don't let go. The red I launch got... clamps don't let go. Yes, they do if you stage them properly. I had the wrong ones on last time. Yeah. Actually, I haven't got enough parachutes on but the pod. When you used it, they didn't let go, so be careful about that. Yeah. I have only got the drogue chutes, which wouldn't be ideal, so let's fix that up. Uh, any other tips, Abby? Do you have any? I think it's gonna That's explode, well. then after that it's gonna explode, then after that it's gonna explode, then after that it's gonna explode. That's sweet, second jet plane. That's a lot of explosions. Second jet plane. I know, oh, who yeah. wouldn't like explosions? Uh, got one at not... cost, and I just got one in the bag, sweet. That's not the prettiest, that'll work though, that will work. Now, hopefully the balance is okay, I think it'll be okay. Oh wait, Tom, don't <laughs> chew into microphones. That's annoying. Mm. It's an orange jet plane, right? Alright, and who's gonna launch it this time? Thomas. Me. Alright, three, two, one. Up it goes. I'm a bit worried about aerodynamics, I don't have shrouds yet. I'm not sure when I get fairings. There we go. I think we're not going to explode. I'm quietly confident. I do want to just tickle out. I don't, oh, I've got to be very careful. I don't want to go too wobbly at this stage. Wobbly rocket syndrome is happening. Come on, wobbly rocket. Yes, Abby? I want it to explode when it wobbles. <laughs> that is possible. No, no. No, no. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Okay, it's good. So, uh, Arthur says... <laughs> That's the number of explosions. Yes, I know. That would be kind of kind of catastrophic. We had an explosion on one of the other streams, which was so violent that it launched a parachute case into an orbit that took it past the sun and out of the solar system. Did you? Yeah, it was pretty pretty bad, Tom. Everyone wants the pilot to explode. No, I actually want to do this one because I actually want to get the contract that sends us to the moon properly. So I want every single pilot in this game to explode. That's because you're a bad egg. I know that egg. All right, they're doing okay. I think the tilt is solid. Uh, 26, yeah. And I forgot Kerbal Engineer again. Uh, I like Kerbal Engineer too much to leave it behind. Just keep. I'm just keep trimming it over a little bit. We're going to lose those bottom stages in a sec and recover all the money thanks to the stage recovery mod. Oh, yep, yeah. and goodbye, you guys. Whoosh. And I think we can explode be a touch. While you're going down. No, they're not going to explode. They're going to parachute back, and we're going to recover them, maybe, but and still use them again. Just get exploded. No, no more explosions, thank you very much. I love explosions, though. I know you just do. Just explode right now. No. Aww. No, we don't want to explode. We want to go to the moon. I want to explode. That's because you're weird and violent. You're not weird and violent. You're lovely. Um, Tom, can you not fiddle with the monitor? Thank you. Yes. Um, I should... What, is it, what did someone just say there? Uh, so Arthur says, it looks like a little flippable, but you're high on the thrust to weight ratio. You should start in gravity turn a little earlier. Yeah, probably. Like, now I'm pretty happy with it. I should have actually tilted over when I was talking. Tilt, there. That's all right. Tilt, tilt, tilt. It's not the end of the world I'll try and get it up to about it's not the end of the world it's the top of the world I'm on top of the world eh? <laughs> yes and it's the top burn 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 my rocket burn I should actually keep an eye on the weights of the different rockets that I launch on this launch configuration because I quite like reusing a reliable launch configuration and then the weight of the rocket differences will make a big difference to the there we go. We'll make a big difference to... No, not that. Okay, slow down. It's okay. When I say I want you say pa, I want pa, I want pa. Alright, so... Let's check. Bye. Alright, thrusting. Good, I think we're solid now. That's going to be fine. And... The periapsis is coming up. Fuel is pretty good. And 
I'm going to ditch this stage before we 100% hit orbit because I want it to fall back. Like this one will eventually as well. If I was to transfer to that one, it would fall back. Let's follow it again. Follow our periapsis. Apia, apoapsis, sorry. And... Uh, prograde, please, pilot. A bit more. Okay, good. That's fine. So now... I want to uh, decouple and then I'm going to burn. I went. I went. Oh. oh, we can't stage from here. Shouldn't need much. A little bit more. Ugh, pull this up. Okay, that looks good. Hi, I have a son. Yes, it's Thomas. This is a family Father's Day stream because it is Father's Day in New Zealand. Mom's and so I've got two little trolls being trolls. We're not trolls. Oh, cool. I get to EVA now, no, which Abby is nice. Is Abby Our is. first EVA. EVA. Atmosphere non breathable. Um, EVA report. Capture it. Get back in. Good. Ever. Okay, so we've got some data. Uh, I need to open this because where is our antenna? Deploy our antenna to connect back to Kerbin. And because we're using the Kerbal as a mod, I have data to send. We're going to transmit that data back to the home. Uh, we, uh, what? Yes, Abby? Can everything explode now? I'm no. Just, I'm getting bored of not having things explode. Well, go and do something else. Go watch TV or something. No! I want it to be explode. You've, you've had enough explosions. I'm trying to play this career mode without everyone just dying constantly. I just realized that none of the Kermans have any friends because everyone on that planet is part of the family. Because they all have the Kerman as, Kerman as their last name. Yes. So none of them have friends. They only have family. That would be difficult. Which I just figured out. That, so they just play with their family only. No friends. Because all of their last names is Kerman. So yeah. These are important discoveries, aren't they? No. I, cancel that node. I need to put that node a bit further around. On ship. Flying through the sky. Uh, just sort this node out for what would that be a moon encounter no I don't want it there okay so uh, so what did someone say Mr. CD CDT we're going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship yes now let me move this maneuver node where am I going to go to get in front of the moon that's the question I have. So, ah, there's the front of the moon. Would that be it? Yes, that's the one I want. That's the slow down, drop off front of the moon. And I do want to try and make it equatorial. So what if I was to uh, make it by tens? And I'm just trying to match that. What oh, would actually? Uh, no. Uh, one. That would be pretty close. And then we can probably tweak it after we get into orbit. Yep, I think that'll be fine. So that is in 16 minutes with a 1 minute 40 how second burn old are time. Your kids? So, Thomas, Me. how old are you? Seven. Abby's five. This yeah. is Abby. That's I'm Abby's five. Seat. I'm touching her head. You can't see. Oh can't see though because we don't have the viewer screen on here. We're coming around, we're coming around, coming around. So I've set it up so that the we should be able to just burn into a nice orbit over there. Which will be good. And how far away are we from that node now? Node in. So we want to stability assist on the target. And as soon as we complete this one, and I'm going to try and maybe be a bit more conservative coming back, we will be able to um, have fun doing actual lunar landings. 50 seconds, 30 seconds, go, 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 go. Oh, we slightly overshot our burn. That's all right. We'll figure that out as we... Uh, we can make course corrections on the way. And we do have a full fuel tank, so that's going to be very handy. Um, 
slow down again and just correct slightly. I think the children may have got a bit tired of orbital insertions because they're now off climbing on each other. That's okay though, that's what children do. And some very silly adults. So, that's cool. Uh, if you missed it in the last, I don't know if anyone was watching the last stream, but I actually had a polar orbit satellite do a survey. So I have got a very nice uh, map of the uh, planet. Kerbal, Kerbal, Ker yeah, I've got a very nice planet of Kerbin, and uh, since it completed its trip, I actually sent it into a high polar orbit, so it can be a relay satellite if it needs to be. What is the goal of the game? I've got a career mode, and I'm trying to earn cash. I'm a little bit broke, and I'm earning science to go up through my uh, required progressions. A spacewalk, yes we did. Recovered stages, very good. So it can be quite sandboxy, you don't have to play it as a... Um, you don't have to play it as a sandbox game, but you can do if you want. So let me almost finish this orbit here. And we'll see how close we get to it. Ah, you are drifting. You are drifting way off. That's okay. 40 meters. So we are coming in front here. 30 meters. I am going to kill that maneuver because I think we were a bit late. So let's see what would happen. Oh, so now we're coming in behind it, really? Another 20 meters a second? Can we come in behind it and around the other side? Yes, we can. We can. It'll flip. Just you wait. Look at that. Orbital science. It's amazing. And stop. Okay, that is actually not too bad. Let me have a look. We've got... Oh, we used quite a bit of fuel, but it's not too extreme. Let's get out of Kerbin's shadow and have a look. So yes, there are a lot of planets. I'll zoom back for the map view for those of you who are interested. So that's the system we're in, and this is the full system. The sun, uh, Moho, Eve, which is a bit like... Um, yeah, it's nasty down there, a bit like Venus. Duna, which is like Mars, Drez, which is kind of an intermediate planet, Joule, which is like Jupiter, and Elu, which is kind of like a big, uh, odd, oddly orbit gas world. So that's all well and good. Now the question I have is, do I do I adjust my attempted orbit early or late? Um, I'm going to focus back here and. The nice thing is, look, we'd have a free return of it if we just left that, but we do actually need to burn. So I need to get this one out a bit. I think we're going to get a bit higher. We'll go out a bit more and do an EVA as well and do the science. Radiation belt. Yeah, I know we're coming through the radiation belts. And EVA. And uh, EVA report. More science. Why does it say, like, toggle EVA suit? That seems really, really a poor decision to make. Send that science home. So, I think I'm just going to head to... Actually, what what is happening here? If I double-click on the moon. Okay, so, we'll get into orbit around the moon first, and then we'll worry about ditching the satellite and correcting this orbit. It's almost what's required, and I'm not sure how close we have to be to meet the requirements of the contract. I guess it will tell us. So, return from orbit, and yeah, okay, so that's good. Let's get to, um, let's warp here. Oh, Drez is kind of like Sarah's. Yeah, that's a good point. So, extreme radiation, that's fine. We're yeah, sitting inside. Yes, you can go to other planets. Can you go to other planets? Uh, can I go to other planets? Well, not now, because I haven't really got enough technology to be able Is to pull it off. Juna, Eve, Jule, Elu, and others. Yep, and they've all got moons, or many of them have moons. So, add a manoeuvre here. Oh, cancel that one, because I threw the... Actually, just zero that. So... Let me have a look. Got to go retrograde. I know, well, but can you play Spore? Spore, I What's probably that? won't be playing Spore because if I'm What's playing that? Spore, it's an old game. If I play Spore, then it means I'm not playing something else that I would want to play. Um, 
and when I cross the equatorial here I'll need to do another burn so I can level off the yeah that looks okay uh, do I want to make it plus a little bit no that'll do we'll see how that works so 200 meters a second delta V that's uh, hopefully that's enough I have no idea how much yeah, we've got that's left What's well, extremely fast? 200 meters a second. Yes, it is. It's how much energy we've got to put into it. So, warp to here. And then we'll do an EVA high over the moon. Are you ready for more moon time, Abby? Explosions, more likely. You're going to land on the moon? <laughs> After no, we haven't got the gear to land on the moon, on the moon yet. Just explode. All right, warp complete. Well, it's EVA and pick up some science. Uh, EVA report. Yes, board the ship. Watch out, guys, you're clonking stuff. Uh, three minutes till the node. Oh, look, you can see Kerbin rising in the background. How beautiful is that? So, we want to. Okay, we're aimed at the node. Oh, now it looks like that's the moon getting to and the speed. Two minutes, so we need to be down to about 12 seconds, and then we'll do our. Oh, shivers. I totally messed that up. I mean, we'll still get it. It's just a bit late. Uh, let me have a look. I'll get this right, and then I'll, t I'll see what everyone's saying on chat. Ah, oh, that's a bit annoying. I missed the node. So the maneuver's going to be a bit off. Let me check it when it's a bit... Let me have a look now. So, okay, that's fine. So we'll kill that. What are we looking to do? I think... Retrograde. We'll just drop this down a bit to... about... Ah! How much fuel have we got? Oh. Okay, so... Ah, here's the descending node uh, that we're aiming for. So... Add maneuver. Oh Tom, shish. And do I? No, tilt it the other way. Okay, I actually should have put a very small engine on the probe so I could do little minute maneuver changes until it hit the required one. Um. How far away is that maneuver? It's a two second burn. <laughs> okay, in 14 minutes. 13, 11, oh, 3. Ah, damn it. I keep missing these nodes because the warps are a bit tight. Um, no, just come here. Let me do this burn. Uh, 33 meters a second. So that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so let's check. So, contract. Uh, reach the designated equatorial around uh, the MUN with, within reasonable deviation. Oh, okay, so actually that's pretty happy. That's not too bad. That's brilliant. So, let's prepare our probe. Okay, I'm pleased about that. Uh, yeah, the, I like I like the creation, the creating vessels thing. It's just a really fun part of Kerbal. Alright, stop. So, this needs to open its doors. We need to deploy the antenna. And is this the one that we can use as a relay? I can't remember which one around it is. No, we need to sit down. Pondering, just double checking. The contract looks sound. So, um, decouple node. Yeah. Oh, we'll just push off. There we go. And now let's flip to this one. Cool. There we go. We got a stable equatorial orbited little satellite here. And I actually have no control over it. I'm kind of surprised. I thought something would work. Uh, I bet you. Uh, I bet you it's because this is not a relay. Oh, I'm smacking the microphone. So if this was set as a relay. Yes. And I flip back. 
Oh, still none. Oh, that's fine. It seems happy. We got the contract, so great. 100,000. That's a much better than doing those other science ones. So now what we need to do is plot our return home. And to do that, we need to wait till we're, I don't know, directly opposite Kerbin, right? Which is about here. And then we need to accelerate to... This time walk all the way to right out of outside Kerbin's atmosphere, then it's easy. Ker Kerbal. Ker Kerbal's Kermin. atmosphere. No, Kerbin. 74. I can actually click that, can't I, to make it stay up? 32. Kerbal. 45. 45 seems about right. Okay, cool. So now what I want to do, that would be a... What? Oh, it doesn't know. It doesn't know how much that burn is going to be. There we go. It's a one minute burn in one hour. So let's warp through to here. And say goodbye to our little satellite buddy. Goodbye, little satellite buddy. Hope you explode on the way. Yeah, Arthur, I think, I don't know if she just saw that, but all the check marks did come up and the contract did complete. So, burn is in two minutes. Uh, burn. Burn. Burn is, what burn means is I'm going to turn the engines on and we're going to go zooming towards home. Zoom. Well, not quite. See, we're going in a, Abby, don't kick the microphone. We're going around this planet and when we push the, the when we push ourselves, the, the moon, yes. When we push ourselves faster, the orbit goes that way. I don't know why it's called that. Mine, because it's funny. Mine, 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 mine. So we're almost ready. Oh, do we have any more science to do? Is there any more EVA while we're here? Oh, there is. Good. And bored. Yes, Tom's whispering subscribe. If you haven't already, you should subscribe. Um, send that data. Uh, and we are one minute away. One minute, 25 seconds. Okay, just put the sass on. Thank you. And is there any mystery goo to be done over here? I don't think there is. Ah, no, there isn't. What a shame. So, one minute ten. Let's speed up a little bit. All right, and I'm going to hit it. Try and hit it really precisely. It's about 33 seconds. There are some little tiny kerbals in the background. It's Father's Day here in New Zealand, so I'm exercising Father's Day privilege and uh, inviting them to join me for a for the stream. Which is I'm Thomas and I'm seven year old and You have to come around to the front of the microphone if you want to talk to them. I'm Thomas and I'm seven year old and over and here I'm Abby and I'm five, five. <laughs> And what is Abby like watching? Ignum family <laughs> No, I mean when we're playing this. I like Explosions. watching explosions. <laughs> I don't want them to explode because I am actually supposed to be somewhat competent explode at this. Explode right now! I am a, I am actually genuinely and somewhat there competent. And is another Three, thing that I two, want one. everyone to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. My favourite thing I've done is send like a, a Curiosity style lander all the way to... Um, where is that? Is that actually re-entering? I think that might be re-entering. We need to go rich grade slightly. And we have a bit of fuel. Good. So I sent a Curiosity style lander to Duna, which was good fun. Um, I'm going to wait to... Uh, that seems to... We've slightly overcooked this all, but that's okay. We'll get it right. 47... 48... Um, we're we're going to go slightly the other way. Yes, 40. David, 40, we I think, will be good. very great kids. Thank you. Are they great kids? Are you two great kids? Yes. <laughs> Who no, says? Me and Tom. Abby's. <sighs> I'm better than Abby. She's cheeky. Not she wants, true. Yeah, she wants everything to explode. <laughs> Do you That's want everything good. to explode? Yes. 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 That's good. We're try. coming back. Do we? Yes, spacewalk in the orbit of Mun. Yes, we did. So, what is it telling us? We've got... Oh, we've got no connection home. Oh, it's because I turned this back to... Actually, if I turn this off relay... Whoop. Actually, just go retrograde, thank you. Turn this off relay and we will actually have that data connection back. Tom, you're knocking things around. Can you not do that? Thank you. Muna probe. Why? Oh, we're too far away, I suspect. That's fine. Come back in. And Ooh. signals back. Yes, we're sending data with the Kerbalism mod. And 
don't bump the probe on the way back. I think the probe looks fine. And no more electrical charge? Oh, because we're facing the wrong jolly way. No, no, no. Turn life support back on, please. No, no. We're going to close this and just pretend that that antenna is doing something else. How are we for electrical charge? Uh, we're fine now. Okay, it came back up. Oh, it came back up. Let's use our capacitor since we have the pleasure of having some on board. Where are they? There's one. Discharge capacitor and look at that electricity. Zoop. Mm, capped it out totally. Good, good job, capacitor and solar panels will run. So let us return. Let's get this returning going on because we don't want anything terrible to happen. Uh, data received. Yes. What are we looking like for? All right, it's going to be a night side. Oh, I hate night side reentries. So retrograde orbit. Uh, slow down, go retrograde. What do you guys think I should do? Should I... You need to go to bed, great. Should I burn at this part here? Should I burn at the periapsis and drop? Yes. Or yeah. should I let it swing around for one more orbit? Bearing in mind, we have plenty of... Uh, Why can't you just land? Land Where are we? Moonor Orbiter has yeah, tons. Yeah, that would be awesome. Tons of electricity, uh, food for another few days. I'll tell you what I, want you to do I actually then. think I might leave everything as it is, and we're just going to see if we can make it back like this. Nightside reentries are pretty, but I'm just kind of worried about. So what have we got? We're into physics warp now. So I'm I am just going to leave it like this. I want to see if I can burn off a bunch of speed, and if it will oh. overcook things. Oh, Here we go. Man. The engine can handle quite a lot coming back this way. And we're not dipping too deep. Yes, Abs? Explode when you're going down again. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's heat. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. I don't know. 46. What did we have the... What did we have it at? 45, I think. I think it's going to be fine. Land. 35 kilometers. Arthur, last time I did that, we had just catastrophic failure. We just cooked so we just cooked so much stuff. It was kind of terrible. Uh, 43. Oh, we're coming back up again. Oh, we're overheating a decoupler. That's a bit of a shame. No, we're going to be fine. We're coming. What's the decoupler? Oh, are we actually in a full reentry? 41 is the. Oh, the decoupler is the part that separates the stages from each other, Tom. I mean, we're really stressing them, but this hasn't been too bad. Dad, you're going faster and faster and faster. Six cops. Uh, just don't mind me. I'm actually going to put the engine on a little bit now because I really want to slow down just a touch because that's very close to overheating. Just a little bit slow down. Six cops? Oh, we're coming back up now. We're coming back up. So the orbit is... We've bled off a bunch of speed. We have okay. We've bled off a bunch of speed. We're still bleeding off speed, but nothing's exploded. So this is a great improvement. Aww. I don't mind doing. I mean, this is still a really cheap way to <laughs> return from uh, from the Mun. We've used our re-entry. We've used a sort of almost a free return orbit. Not quite, but close it's enough. Fast on, fast on, fast on, we had to do that whole circularize, and now we're coming back out. This is really the best way to re-enter at Juna as well. Is to is to do an uh, because you're coming in so fast is to do a bleed off, but it's getting the heights right without cooking a ship, that's the real challenge. Um, time warp it up. Coming back up into space. Don't worry, Captain. Uh, we haven't had any space. explosions yet. No explosions yet. Boo! And around we go and back in. And this one's going to be another 40 kilometer. Come on, speed up. You have your gun in case. <laughs> well, that is one way of doing what it. Gun? This guy just says he he's walking back with his beer and there are lots of cops in trouble. Um, so this is still okay. And I'm a gun just in case. Why does he have a gun? I don't know why he has a gun. Uh, is he allowed to have it? Yeah, error braking. I actually wish there was a. I don't know if there's a good litho braking error braking calculator. Um, it'd be nice if there was a little mod that, when you plotted an orbit, just gave you kind of a, a, a forecasted amount of riskiness to your orbit. That would be cool. 
Why are we already coming straight back up again? Yeah, we are. I had it on time warp, that's why. So, how much food and water have we got left? We've got like 8 days and 80 days of oxygen, so... I don't mind if this takes a couple of orbits. It's free. Yeah, I actually don't know... I don't know if the... Um, I don't know if the Apollo astronauts had to do this. I mean, this is a... This is a fairly similar sort of profile. I think they probably just came straight down and just could handle the heat better. Yes, crash landing. Yeah, I'm familiar with litho braking. And we are still whizzing down. I'm gonna put a little bit of. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put a bit of uh, slow down speed on now. There goes the engine out of fuel. This is. Yeah, we are out of fuel, so it's just gonna have to be a matter of time now. Oh, halfway house. Oh, yeah, they can be a place for a bit of trouble, unfortunately. Um, and yes, he, he says, he's a, yes, he's allowed to have it, Tom. He's allowed, Captain Rye is allowed to have a weapon in the US. Um, pretty unusual here for anyone to own a weapon, or unless they're like a farmer or someone who likes to go hunting, because uh, in New Zealand, goats and deer and pig are wild and uh, they are feral. Well, not feral, I guess. They're just pests. No one. Um, they're introduced species, same with rabbits, so they're not welcome. Same with possums. So people sometimes go hunting for them. Uh, this is Why are pigs not welcome? Because they ruin the bush. They dig up all of the um, plants Why? in the bush and they cause problems for it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh, this is taking a little while now. But that's uh, it's not too bad, I suppose. Subscribe, subscribe. Have we dropped... This shouldn't have dropped yet, should it? 40. It has dropped ever so slightly. That's no, fine. Hey there, Ender. We're just re-entering from a Mars, a, a trip to the Mars, and dropping off a, a Mars. What am I saying? Moon, and dropping off a satellite, which is cool. And also, one thing you need to do, uh, Ender, is subscribe. Return from orbit's what we need to do, and and it's Father's Day in New Zealand, so my kids are here. I'm Thomas. I'm seven. That's Abby. She's five. Hello. What's up? I want everything to explode. Yeah, she loves explosions. Her favourite thing to watch when Dad blows Kerbal is boom, boom, boom. That is explosions. That is everyone's favourite thing to watch. That's all she likes. <laughs> is that all you like, Abby? Yep. I want explosions to happen every day. Real ones. <laughs> so I would love that. You don't like fireworks, though. I do. Do you? Yeah. Because they're like explosions. Okay, I'm going to come back in a minute. You're going to come back in a minute. Okay. Well, we're going to wait for this guy to come down. It's kind of annoying that we have to wait so long. But we do get to admire how pretty um, Kerbal is when you add like the Spectrum Modern with all the add-ons. Look at that. And coming back around again, mm -hmm. coming down. We're always coming down it's to the night side. Down. It's such a shame. It's coming down. It's coming down. Don't steal my coffee, small it's child. Landed. That's the last the thing we need is a seven year old with coffee, the coffee in the system. Has landed in my mouth. <laughs> you are a difficult child. I just drank your coffee. Um, I, that's actually my tenth sip. Yes. Your tenth sip. I know yeah. you're a child. <laughs> Don't worry, you're half Indonesian, so Indonesians are immune from coffee. In Indonesia, if you someone said, did someone say explosion? Yeah, me, 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 me. Yeah, in Indonesia, people give babies a teaspoon of coffee when they're sick, which actually kind of makes sense, I suppose, because you know it. I don't know, perks them up a bit, perhaps. But coffee is a bit more ancient tradition in uh, Indonesia, obviously. Even though they've got rubbish Starbucks there, they do actually still have good coffee. The, good, the local coffee is great. Really thick, dark, and strong. Um, are we going to re enter this time? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, we are. I this. I just cracked my toe. No, maybe not. It's going to be I next door. I clicked bit. my toe. You clicked your toe. Well, don't click it. Oh, I'm not sure you broke it. No, I just clicked it. 
Uh, next time, I might bring enough fuel to circularize the jolly orbit so I can enter with a graceful charm rather than waiting for this arrow breaking. I mean, it's been a good arrow breaking, but I think it'd have. Actually, I'm not sure if it had been a touch steeper. Was it 41k? If it had been 40k, that might have been enough to cause all of this to explode. Which, I don't know, that would have been expensive and kind of annoying. Because I've got stage recovery, so I want things to be recovered. Stage recovery. Alright, get back up. Last orbit, I think. And then we're going to land. And then it's probably going to offer me a contract to go to the moon. But you guys are so super wriggly, I'm not sure we'll do that. Thomas, turn the piano off. Are you going to serenade us with some uh, Ode to Joy? We can do Ode to Joy while we come in and round f and, and re enter Thomas, or while the sun comes up. Let me know if you want Ode to Joy on the piano in the background. <laughs> you two being very silly. Alright, come on. Um, a bit more. Re-entering soon, I'm sure. How are we for resources? Fine. Right. <laughs> Someone says they do like piano time, so there you go. Are you two fighting? What are you doing? No, Abby, Abby, no piano, thank you. Uh, yes, these aren't random children, these are my children, because I thought it would be a great idea on Father's Day to have a stream. Serious, you two. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely coming home today. That orbit's already dropping quick. My daughter would love USA on the 4th of July. Well, we have, don't forget, we have Guy Fawkes Day. And Guy Fawkes Day, not only is there fireworks, but you ceremonially, well, you can ceremonially burn a guy, which is a, a stuffed scarecrow. We haven't done that in a long time. Not really good places to burn around here. When's Guy Fawkes Day? November 5th is Guy Fawkes Day. Remember, remember the 5th, no, no, 5th of November. And then there's something about traitors, something, 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 and I can't remember the rest, how that goes. Hmm. Can you remember the rest of the song, Tom? Of what? Remember, remember the fifth. Ah, here we go. We are definitely re-entering. Remember, remember, remember the fifth of November. Something traders. Something, something. Someone can Google it for me if they fancy. That's I when don't we. Know uh, it's remember. It's the day we remember how great it was that we burned a bunch of traitors, or the English burned a bunch of traitors alive. Remember. <laughs> fireworks, we still get fireworks. Yeah, lots of fireworks. Lots of fireworks on the first. I know you have 4th of July. 4th of July is a good on celebration December, as well. On December, remember, oh, nope. Remember. All right, we ditched. Whoa, I don't even see where that went. Is that that little glowing spot? So we just ditched and got rid of the booster because it was falling weirdly. And now, 19 kilometers up, this is actually a safe re entry. I can't believe we've done it. That was a very, very lucky and fortuitous ditching of the booster. Because um, freedom. <laughs> okay, we're falling. We got shoots up, we got drugs up. Drop them all at once, which is a shame. Oh, something exploded in the distance. Yay! It's blued again! Gunpowder, treason, and plot. That's right. Yay! We didn't even need to spin. That was a perfect re-entry. That was beautiful. Drogue shoots and all the and the normal shoot have deployed. Uh, not quite cleanly, but that's okay. Thousand meters up. I brought one regular, which for this little stack should be plenty. What was? Oh, hang on. Abby, you just missed what was the explosion. that? Oh. Recover vessel. Oh god, we landed on a mountain. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even EVA. I should have EVA'd. Ah. You notice? Just explode. And then I'm going to go Well, away. something kind of went bang. Oh, we got 77 science. And we got a bunch of money. And we got a happy pilot. Let me see. Did we get any science? We got some wing parts. Are you done now? Sorry, um, I just hit the window with my foot. Yeah, shush, Tom. Um, it's a big window door. 
Hello, Wellington. And how survivability? What does that lead to? Oh, what does this one lead to? I don't, I don't have simple. I don't know what simple command modules is, but that's where I get to the thirty. That's where I get to the thirty-one. So up here though is engine parts, large rocketry. I would need the upgrade for the science center here. Ninety science radial decouplers, tri stacks. All right. You know what? I think probably now is a good time to stop because I've got two absolutely wriggly small children and they're going slightly bananas. And in the next one, what is it asking us to do? It's asking us. At least five o'clock. It's asking us to do a uh, scan of Minmus as the next mission. Uh, Muna orbit adjusted orbit. What? Muna is currently longitude. Ensure the probe and anti direct power. Reach the designated orbit. It wants me to... What? It wants me to change the orbit? I don't know if I... I can't do that. It hasn't got any engines on it. That's silly. I should have... Oh, never mind. I don't want to rescue anyone from orbit. Those are annoying. Exploration. Explore Kerbin. That... I don't know. Base construction. Build an outpost on the surface of Minmus. Well, we need to go to Minmus first. So I definitely... That looks like a good... Ah, there we go. Surface data. Data from the surface of Mun. That's going to be the next, next, next stream, I think. And, um, yeah, oh no, Seattle's fantastic. Seattle is uh, one of my uh, favorite US cities. I've been to Seattle. It's, um, yeah, lots of, lots of fun. So, um, I think I'm going to do that in the next stream. I think now's probably a good spot at which to finish before my children go completely mental and just clear the fact that we've completed those contracts. Space program return from orbit of the moon. Cool. And we have just about enough science to, um, gather the next stage and so what i might do when i'm offline is do a little bit of exploring and evaing so and it's blowing and exploding so i can pick up this advanced construction uh, option which will start to get us pieces for colonization as well as robotics which will be kind of fun so i think that'll be in the next stream everyone thank you very much for watching it's been uh, great to have you around if you haven't already do subscribe I like and explode and explode i like to do lots of interesting you know independent games and uh, games like kerbal and uh, have a good time so until then good night